Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello grade four, how are you today? I hope all of you are fine. Alhamdulillah. Our topic for today is solid, liquid, and gases. Part two. In this chapter, we will learn how to recognize that matter has mass and occupies space. What is volume? Volume is the amount of space occupied by matter. Volume is the amount of space occupied by matter. Volume is usually measured in units such as milli, liter, liter, cubic centimeter. So the unit for volume usually we use milliliter, liter, cubic centimeter. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliter equals to 1000 cubic centimeter we can use a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of a liquid accurately this is the feature of measuring cylinder and i have two example of use measuring cylinder here okay let's we continue this is how to use a measuring cylinder to measure the volume of liquid first place the measuring cylinder on a flat surface Next, position your eye at the same level as the liquid level. Next, take the reading at the lowest point at the curved liquid surface. Yeah. So, you have to put the measuring cylinder on a flat surface, for example, on a table. And then, please position your eyes at the same level as the liquid level let's try i have two measuring cylinder here and i already pour water inside okay so how to read the volume of the water inside this measuring cylinder accurately the first step put on the flat plate surface hmm, this table is a flat now so i put it hmm, put of the measuring cylinder on the table next we have to put the position of our eyes has the same level with the liquid level so i need to huh. hmm. my eye already at the same level with the liquid level and i need to take reading for the lowest curve part so for this black liquid the volume is 70 milliliter hmm. next for the second measuring cylinder let's put on the flat surface Put on the table and put our eye level at the same position with the liquid level. Hmm. Already at the same position. 
and then we take the reading for the lowest curve level at the liquid. So the volume of water inside this measuring cylinder is 15 milliliters. As we continue, back to the slide. Okay, can we measure the volume of a solid? For example, rock. Can we measure the volume of a rock? Use a measuring cylinder? Yes, we can. Now, how to measure the volume? For example, in this case, look at the picture. Yeah, I have one measuring cylinder and one rock, small rock type. First, you take the reading of water level yeah, without the rock, the so water only. Take the reading of this. Is it 20 milliliters? Second step, put the rock inside. Inside the same uh, cylinder, same measuring cylinder, and then take a reading for the lowest curve of the liquid, of the water. In here, we have 30 milliliter. So, to find the volume of the rock, we have the formula. Volume of the rock equals volume of water and rock minus or subtract with the volume of water only. So, in this case, we have 30 milliliter. Yeah, volume of the rock and the water minus with 20 milliliter volume of the water only we got 10 milliliter so the volume of the rock is 10 milliliter you get it okay i will explain one more try one more time sorry i mean one more time let's switch try to use this I want to measure the volume of this eraser. So what I have to do? First, of course, I have to put the measuring cylinder with the water inside on the flat surface. I put on the table. I will use the big one or the small one. Which one do you think? I'm just the small one. Okay. And then I take the reading for the volume of water only. The volume of this water inside is 15 milliliter. Remember, 15 milliliter. The next step, we put the eraser inside the measuring cylinder. Careful, is it enough? Oh, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> okay, next. We take the reading of this water level. Hmm. The volume of the water with the eraser inside is 20 20 21 22 23 24 25 Oh, 25 milliliters. 25 milliliter. So the volume of water only is 15 milliliter, and the volume of water with the eraser is 25 milliliter. So the volume of the eraser, I just need to subtract them. 25 milliliter, subtract with 15 milliliter. Hmm. 10 milliliter. So the volume of the eraser is 10 milliliter. That's 
back to the slide. Now it is your turn. I give you the picture on the slide and then you have to answer this question. How many milliliter is the volume of the rock? That's all for today. See you again at the next meeting. Bye-bye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.